The Jaguars hit the field today for the first day of OTAs or organized team activities. During OTAs, players are not allowed to wear pads. Contact is limited. And last season, the Jaguars were fined for violating OTA protocols. News for Jack Sports anchor Jamal Saints here joining us now. He's on the practice field today. Jamal, how important are these sorts of workouts? The, these workouts are hugely important for the team as they build that chemistry moving forward. Probably the most important for a guy like Nas Bohannon, the Jaguars tight end. He's a, a college basketball player, played hoops at Clemson and Youngstown State, and now he's trying to get back to his football roots. Luckily, the Jaguars have a few players already in the building that know a thing or two about making that switch. Chris Manhurts, a current tight end, and in the player development department, Marcus Pollard, of course, a former NFL player who played college basketball before switching to football. Bohannon said that he feels like the Jaguars are a perfect fit for him. He's prepared me for what the game will be like as far as telling me about the speed and everything else, but just making sure that mentally I'm ready to, to go and take in all of this. I mean, we always talk about like tight ends that make the switch from basketball. There's a lot of them now. Uh -huh. uh, but you walk in here and there's two guys. I mean, Marcus Paul is still in the building, but you got another guy on the team and Chris Manhurts who made a similar switch. I mean, it, could you think of almost a, a better situation to walk into than this one when you got two guys in the building that know exactly what you're going through right oh, now? Not at all. It was almost like, for me, it was, it was a perfect thing fit watch just because I know that I can go to those guys and ask all the questions I want to like hey how did you slow it down when you first came over everything's moving a mile a minute how do I learn this formation or what's good or what's some blocking techniques or things of that sort that'll help me so Bohannon says that his goal is to get 1% better each day. He did play college hoops and he's learning basketball or learning football again now, but he says his first love of sports was baseball. So definitely a, a, a very versatile athlete in Nas Bohannon. We'll have to see if he can make an impact here on this Jaguars roster. For now, here at live at TIA Bank Field, I'm Jamal Saints here for Channel 4, the local station.